Gus has been an absolute nightmare for five years. I've tried everything and nothing has worked. When I tried the canny collar, I was amazed. Within three minutes, he was walking nicely by my side, quite happily, tail wagging, and so was mine. Rescue dog Ty had proved virtually impossible for Thornbury Animal Sanctuary to rehome. This was because he was such a nightmare to walk on the lead. Using a canny collar, Ty was completely controllable and was successfully rehomed within days. His new owners are delighted with both their dog and his canny collar. When we used to walk out, it was very difficult. It did require two handlers and two leads, and she would still pull. When I used the canny collar for the first time, it was I couldn't believe the improvement in the dog. She just had to get used to it for a little while, but she was super, absolutely. The canny company was invited to the RSPCA Derby to work with the centre's most difficult dogs. The main problem they experience is a high number of dogs being returned because they're difficult to control on the lead. Since the introduction of the canny collar, rehoming rates have risen dramatically, and more importantly, far fewer of these dogs are returned to the shelter. Fitting the canny collar is easy. Ensure the collar fits snugly round your dog's neck. It is essential that it cannot be pulled over your dog's ears. Then, attach the lead to both D-rings at each end of the thin slip line. Pull the slip line through the plastic guider at the front of the collar. Then put the slip line over your dog's nose, leaving the plastic guider under his chin. Now your dog is ready for his walk. When walking, the lead should be kept short but loose. If your dog pulls forward, apply gentle backward pressure on the lead. As soon as your dog stops pulling, release the pressure. This pressure and release action is the key to using your canny collar correctly. The optional carabiner clips allow you to let your dog off lead without having to remove the canny collar. To do this, take the slip line off your dog's nose Pull the slip line taut at the back of your dog's head, unclip the lead and cross the slip line over at the back of your dog's neck, bringing the D-rings to meet at the front. Clip the carabiners to each other or to the metal fittings each side of the guider. <laughs> 